Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily create deforestation and afforestation map using Google Earth Engine platform and also calculated that deforestation area and also calculated the afforestation area. So in this time, I will show you all of those process step by step. I hope after completing this tutorial, you can easily create deforestation and afforestation map for any region and easily calculate it, the deforestation and afforestation area. So let's go. I just simply open my code editor and try to show this all of this process one by one. So here you can say I already write this code and I can get this type of result. So mainly here you can see we are just classified unchanged area. So mainly this white color identify about the unchanged area and this type of green color it's mainly afforestation okay so you can see this type of uh, green color identify about the afforestation region okay and also you can see the red color it's identify about the deforestation okay between the time year of 1992 2023 so this time period we can get this type of red color we can get as a deforestation region so today I will show you this process and also we try to discuss about that how we can easily calculate the area. Suppose how much area deforestated, how much area fall afforestated. So this type of area we also try to discuss in this time. So let's go. So first of all here you can see this is the result for my side. Here I can get and I already calculated the area from here. How much area for deforestation, how much area for afforestation and how much area for unchanged area. So I will show you all of these things one by one from my side. So first of all here you can see just I simply import my study area. So in this time I take the study area for the mangrove forest, whole mangrove forest in Sundarban. So I take this study area. I simply import my study area. So here you can see this is my study area. So just I simply import my study area in here. So in this time I want to observe the deforestation and afforestation between the time period year of 1992 2000. 23 this time period so for that i simply uh, filter my image collection for 1990 and uh, just i simply calculated the ndvi okay so in this time i just calculated the ndvi using near infrared band so mainly landsat 5 near infrared band is the b4 and uh, b3 it is the green band okay so red band okay so near infrared band and red band we simply calculated the normalized difference and make the map of NDVI map. So here you can see this is my result about the NDVI map. So this is the result you can see image. We can get the NDVI image, satellite image. So further we are use it. Simply use this image and then calculate the NDVI map. So here you can get the NDVI map of 1990. Okay. Also do for the same things for I take the image for 2023. So here you can see this is the image for 2023. And further, we are also make the NDVI map for 2023. So just we are creating this map, NDVI map 2023. Okay. So here you can see this is the code about that. So just I simply uh, make the image collection for 2023. And then further, I just make the map of NDVI for 2023 and display this result of NDVI map. So in this time, I just simply classify this NDVI map. So mainly I just classify NDVI map mainly no vegetation and vegetation so for that you can see this is the result about that uh, mainly it's identified for the vegetation and no vegetation so here you can see this type of gray color identify about the no vegetation and this type of uh, green color identify about the vegetation okay just i make the two class one class is for vegetation this is green color and another class is for gray color so it's mainly identify about the no vegetation okay just i simply classified and also classified you can see this is the process for classified i just simply use this code and then make the classified and further i need to reclassify it okay so just i reclassify zero will be one and one will be two just i simply reclassify using the remap function okay and then i also show you the reclassify result in here so you can say after reclassify it show this layer look like that I use the same color band so after doing the same things we also do for the year of 2023 okay so year of 2023 
just I make the classify into two class. So you can see this is the image for 2023. We are just classified. Suppose vegetation and non vegetation region. So vegetation show this type of uh, green color, non vegetation show this type of gray color. We are just simply make the classify. Okay. So after this thing, we simply do for the remap also for 2023. So just simply reclassify 0 will be 1 and 1 will be 2. And I also show this result in here. You can see just simply we can get this type of result after reclassify map of 2023. Okay. After doing these things, we are just simply merge simply before class and after class. Okay. Simply merge and multiply with 100 and give a name as a transition. So here I can get this type of class. Here you can see 101, 102, 201, 202. So here 101, it means that no vegetation to no vegetation, mainly unchanged area. Then 102, it means that no vegetation to vegetation, mainly it gained the vegetation. It's called the afforestation. So we put this class as the afforestation. Also, you can say 201, it's mainly vegetation to no vegetation. It means that deforestation. Suppose I have a vegetation, but in this time there is no vegetation. So it's we can get the deforestation look like that. So here you can see about the vegetation to the vegetation in the unchanged area. So further, we are just uh, make the frequency histogram about that and also from the calculate the area. So from this calculate area, we can easily get that uh, vegetation and non-vegetation area. Here you can see this is the area about that. So 101, 102, 201. So we can get the area frequency histogram. And from here, we can just calculate the area, how much area for that 101, how much area mainly. Then also you can see about that 102, how much area, 10201, uh, how much area. So all of this you can calculate it. If you want, you can also show this result as a uh, bar column chart. So you can see this is the bar column chart, unchanged area. We can calculate the afforestation, also deforestation, this type of things. So you can easily calculate from here. So further, we are just make the make the result look like that. Suppose in this time I show the result, uh, this is our final result about the deforestation and forestation. So here we can get uh, this type of classify. We are just simply make the classify classes this type of things. So no no change no no vegetation to others mainly vegetation vegetation to others mainly no vegetation deforestation. So further, we are just show this result. You can see it is represented this type of. Uh, red color identify about the deforestation region and this type of green color identify about the afforestation region okay so you can see the only it is the afforestation between the year of 2000 uh, uh, 1992 2023 and we can get that this type of red color it's identify about the deforestation between the time period 1992 2023 this time period we can get this type of uh, region the deforestated in here mm -hmm. from the vegetation there is no vegetation in this time and further, we are just calculating the area from here. You can simply uh, download the CSV file from here. And further, you can easily make the different types of analysis such as calculating the parts and other things we can get. So basically, this is the process uh, when you want to make the deforestation and afforestation map for any region. Suppose in this time, you can simply take the other region. So using the same code, suppose you are just simply take the other region. Suppose in this time, I want to uh, calculate the deforestation region for this specific region suppose this is my specific region so for that you can simply uh, select your study area suppose click on here and then simply draw your boundary okay for that you can simply uh, remove the previous one ry i just simply put the geometry name is the ry so now it usually calculated the deforestation and afforestation between the time period year of 2000 1992 2023 this time period we can get the result from here so you can see it loaded. So mainly using the using the same code, you can easily calculate for any specific region. Just you need to import your shape file, or if you want, you can simply draw your study area, and then you can easily calculate this type of things from here. Okay. So not only for that, for any region, you can easily do it. So in this time, I want to uh, do it for my specific region, such as mangrove forest. So for that, I simply import the shape file from here. For any region, you can simply import your shape file. And then check the result from here. Okay, so just a simple import. Suppose I simply import this shell forest, and then I simply remove the previous one ry, and I give this name is ry. So now I easily use this code for this study area for making the 
deforestation and afforestation map between year of 1992 to 2023. So just a simple zoom. So now it's automatic loading about this study area and further it calculate uh, the area as well as also make the deforestation and afforestation and also unchanged area between the time period year of 1992-2023 this time period further if you want you can simply import the other region suppose That was I import the so there are province boundary shape file. Now further use add that ROI and now click the run. So now for this study, we can easily get for the whole so there boundary. I already can find out the deforestation and afforestation region. You can easily get it. Okay, just simply remove this ROI and try to set this code for this and drop ROI. Now click the run. So now we can get this result for this study area. Yeah. So here you can see we can easily get this result. And it also calculated about the afforestation and deforestation region. We can easily get this map. Okay. Okay, so now here you can see we can get this type of result. So this red color identify about the deforestation, and this type of green color identify about the afforestation between the time period 1992-2023. And further, we can easily calculate the area from here. And further, we can simply calculate uh, the percentage or other things. Simply click on here and download the CSV file from here. Okay, then we can easily calculate it that how much area fall unchanged. Then how much area for the afforestation and deforestation just you can do it okay so uh, this is the process for creating the afforestation and deforestation and finally you can also download this map as a tip format okay from google earth engine platform and you can easily use the art map software or qj software for making your, your proper business paper map using the art map or qj software okay so in this time i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically if you want on you can also join our upcoming live training session on google Earth engine so basically uh, our new best will be start from the 10th february so now this registration process is the opening okay so this class will be start from the 10th february and education last date is the 9th february okay and first 10 days will get the 50 percent discount in this online training program and uh, basically in this online training program we are just for focusing only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the programming or who don't have any knowledge about that uh, python or javascript or who don't have uh, totally zero knowledge in the programming background and uh, don't know knowledge about the google earth engine platform so this course is only for you if you don't know anything i hope you can easily learn all of those things from beginners level to advanced level and you can see this that course content so i already added all of those things in the video description you can simply check all of those things from your video description and if you have no knowledge about the coding don't worry about that i can easily learn all of those things from the google earth engine and you can easily make any types of algorithm for your remote sensing analysis using the google earth engine platform very quickly and efficiently than other software 
and you can also get the some benefit when you want to join this online training program you can get the course certificate you can get the, all of those material slide pdf you can get all of those practice code and you can easily practice and you can also get the recorded class suppose when you miss any class you can easily recover get the recorded video class and you can also get the lifetime teaching support and it's very important as a beginner so when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support for getting this support you can easily get the continuous support for the lifetime suppose after finishing the total seven days online training program when you face, when you face any problem regarding any issue you can get the solution okay so this is the very best benefit for the beginners because as a beginners when you want to learn the google Earth engine platform you face lot of problem okay so this type of problem when you want to solve then you can easily learn the google Earth engine platform properly okay so that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support when you want to join this online training program you can get the lifetime teaching support so in this time you can simply for joining simply contact this whatsapp number you can also contact with this email for registration about our upcoming online training program which will be start from the 10th february and uh, today is no more if you have any question or any doubt about this topic you can simply comment in this video uh, video comment box i also try to give all of the answer okay so basically this is the process for creating the deforestation and afforestation map for the different time period and also calculated the area so you also try and face any problem then let me know thank you for asking that stay happy stay safe